to even begin to explain to what degree how and why this show is as shitty as it is is difficult even for me who's used to giving things negative reviews so today somebody in my call of cthulhu stream was like argent why don't you do a review of castlevania and like what um what you mean about castlevania and like the animated series i'm like there's a castlevania the animated series i'm like yeah it came out yesterday so it had netflix so i just finished watching it and people wanted a review of it so here's gonna be my review it's complete and total shit it's one of the worst animated series i've ever seen and on top of it being dildo a disgrace to the source material um anti-christian for absolutely no reason in contrast to the original source material it's just not very good um the plot's not good the, the characters aren't good the action scenes are, are mediocre it's just a really poorly told story the fact that this is four episodes and, and this is considered a season four fucking episodes that resolve basically nothing and explain shit all is i think indicative of, of just how crappy this is and that the fact that people are watching this and they think that this is good and this is something i don't say that often just shows people have no fucking taste it's like oh there's vampires in it oh boy i gotta give this a good review no um castlevania the animated series is a hundred percent trash i um was watching it with some of my friends and they couldn't like get through the first episode we had to stop and then i, I had to finish this piece of crap on its own so why is castlevania the animated series i'm just gonna call it that so what am i gonna call it? castlevania netflix such a piece of fucking trash well, let's just, it's, it's kind of hard. It's, it's kind of like I almost have to do a blanket review because the, the problem is any, everything. So to go into this game is, uh, sorry, this movie is obviously based off of Castlevania Three: Curse of Darkness, which is really kind of the first Castlevania game that has a, which is really kind of the fast, first Castlevania game to have a well-developed story. So let's just go back and a bit into lore. So the Belmonts were a, a clan of French nobility who had taken part in the Crusades. Um, the, the original Belmont, uh, let me see what was his name again, Leon Belmont had been a general in the church's armies during, I think it was implied to be the Albigensian Crusade or a crusade against some other group of heretics. And his best friend and an ally was a man named Oh god, I'm gonna butcher this. Matthias Kravosk, uh, Kro 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 Kravosk, uh, whatever. But he was a um, he was also a general in the church's army, and while he was away, I think on campaign or something, his wife died of an illness, and he he viewed this as a pun as God betraying him. Uh, he said, I, "I was fighting for God, and God takes my wife away from me." So I'm just, um, I'm going to throw a hissy fit and I'm going to become an immortal incarnation of death to spit at God. Um, one could imagine that he was probably always kind of a sociopath. Um, and he was kind of looking for a justification for his own wicked behavior. So he went and he took the soul of a vampire and became immortal, taking the name Dracula. So Dracula is not actually Vlad Tepes in, in the Castlevania universe. What, what happened was after Matthias had become Dracula and taken declared his intention to take revenge on God and all of humanity uh, because he lost his wife. So Dracula took Leon Belmont uh, Leon Belmont's um, wife hostage and Trevor and Leon Belmont abandoned his position with the church army to go in personally try to take Dracula down ultimately in the fight his wife would wind up sacrificing her life to imbue the vampire killer that is the Belmont's favored whip with the ability to destroy evil 
So that's where the vampire hunter got it. So Dracula was, of course, defeated and was driven out of France. Uh, what Dracula wound up doing in the Castlevania timeline is he fled to Wallachia because Wallachia is basically in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's out at the very periphery of Europe, and the chaos created by the Turks coming allowed him to move his castle to there and to build up his, um, his forces. His ultimate plan being a, an invasion of Europe and the complete destruction of all of humanity uh, as kind of him spitting at God. I think it's very important to understand when we're dealing with Dracula in Castlevania, he hates God and he hates humanity because humanity is the creation of God. And he is basically Satan. Um, he commands death, for instance. Death is actually a character in the Castlevania games who serves as Dracula's. So, yeah, so Dracula was going across Europe. Um, he, had, he went to Wallachia and he was getting a army together. So the, the church during this time period had started raising their own armies and were going there basically to try to do battle against Dracula. Now it's interesting because the Pope during this time period, Pope Sixtus IV, I believe it was, raised a failed crusade to try to drive back the Ottoman Turks. So I guess to a certain extent you can see Dracula in this timeline as being kind of a metaphor for the Ottoman Turks invading Christian Europe as opposed to how he, he kind of was in traditional folklore as being Vlad Tepes. But while I think he adopted kind of the, the name, it's, the timeline isn't incredibly clear. Like, it's possible that he kept the name Matthias until he moved to Wallachia and became its lord there, and then he adopted the name Vlad Tepes, uh, a.k.a. Dracula. So it, it's possible that he's kind of like a transplant from East, from Western Europe, and then his, his kind of kingdom of Transylvania was founded after he moved there. I mean, that kind of makes sense. But anyways, when he was there, he met and fell in love with a woman, ostensibly. Um, we're just told this, because Dracula is Satan incarnate. He probably couldn't fall in love. However, the relationship gave birth to an heir, Alucard. Uh, Alucard had a much different temperament than his father. He was a lot more compassionate. Um, eventually, the people in a nearby town who were afraid of the wife of Satan himself or the lover of Satan himself decided to burn her as a witch. Now, upon her dying, her last request to Alucard was that he would forgive humanity for its weakness and protect them from the night and from darkness. Because she said humanity was was weak and at prey for the forces of evil. And that he should devote himself and use his immense power for good. So Alucard set himself up in opposition to his father. Uh, go, basically going into a voluntary exile of his own. To search out other people who would be capable of fighting Dracula's evil. So around this time uh, we enter into the story of self Saifa Belnades, Belnades, Belnades. I, I can't. It's it's a strange name, but so Saifa Belnades was a witch. Um, magic in the Castlevania universe is takes two different forms. There's elemental or natural magic, and there's demonic magic. Now, obviously, demonic magic is stuff like Dracula. It's stuff like zombies, vampires, etc. It, it's unholy abominations which are weak against. Uh, the forces of the divine, um, crosses, holy water, um, blades, which uh, which had been blessed blessed by a priest, um, can can kill it and are kind of super effective against it. Now the other form of magic is natural magic, that is, some people are born with the ability to commune with nature spirits and to har harness the forces of nature. Um, there's nothing demonic about it. It's just playing to a natural force and in the Castlevania universe at least the church doesn't really have a problem with that type of magic or those types of witches still what happened was the people of Wallachia feared the witches even though all accounts were they were perfectly like well behaved but um, what, what wound up happening was Dracula sent Camilla who's kind of his left-hand woman 
henchwoman to go and she corrupted the local peasantry and she basically convinced them to rise up and to slaughter the witches and to burn them alive. So the witch trials and the witch mania in Romania in Wallachia was actually caused by Dracula, um, presumably as a way of destroying the most powerful humans in existence and to make his conquest of the rest of the world easier. So around this time, both the Eastern and Western Church, it should be noted in Castlevania that while there is an Orthodox and a Catholic Church, the schism seems to have ended because the Orthodox Church acknowledges the authority of the Pope. So there's a number of armies they sent in, but Dracula was able to destroy them. But of the witches who were slaughtered, the one who got away was a woman, a young woman named Sypha. And Sypha sought sanctuary at a monastery. Um, the priests and monks took her in and raised her, basically. Um, and Sypha was, by all accounts, a very religious woman. Uh, she didn't blame the church for what happened. She blamed evil. Uh, she blamed the evil that lurked in the hearts of men and the creatures of the night that spread the evil. So she was initially going to become a monk, but as kind of the war got worse, the church asked her to fight on their side, to which she happily accepted. So, yeah, so you have um, of Sypha, who became an agent of the church. Uh, they freely allowed her to practice magic, as they did all of her descendants. Uh, the Belenades slash... Um, uh, I forget what the other ones are called. There's the Fernandez. Um, I forget what her name, Charlotte's last name is. Olin. Okay. So eventually there would come to be numerous branches of the Fernan of the um, of the Belnadas, Bel Belnadas, Belnadas, whatever how you pronounce it, clan, all of whom worked for the church. So more or less what the, um, the clan was is they were all powerful sorceresses that the church had sanctioned and that worked for them directly to fight, fight the um, forces of night. There's every indication that pretty much the entire clan were pretty faithful and devout Catholics. It, it's interesting because in the Castlevania universe, the church didn't really have a problem with them because they pulled their power from nature itself. Um, there was nothing demonic about it. And I guess you could say, well, they burned the witches. But, I mean, witch hunting is kind of a thing in all cultures. And plebs are going to pleb. But the thing is, when, when Sypha needed sanctuary, the church gave, granted it to her and she gave a purpose. It gave her a purpose. And she held no ill will to them going on to serve them. Now, what had kind of happened with the Belmonts in the church is the Belmonts in the church were kind of estranged. Um the Leon Belmont had abandoned his position as a general to go fight um, Dracula and they had kind of disappeared and become this this strange group of, of immensely powerful men. Um, the Belmonts after Dracula had moved to Wallachia followed him and the Belmont clan had kind of made that their headquarters despite being French nobility because that's where the monsters were and Leon Belmont had sworn to fight the knight and that the Belmonts would eternally struggle against Dracula and the forces of evil. So they had been driven out of Wallachia, and this is one of the few things the show gets right, uh, just because the people were scared of them because plebs are going to pleb, and beings with godlike powers are always very, um, very, yeah. So what wound up happening is the church re reached out and got Trevor Belmont to come and work for them. Um, the Pope himself requested Trevor Belmont. Uh, the Belmonts were completely reconciled with the Catholic Church. All indications are that almost that all the Belmonts were faithful and devout Catholics. Um, the Belmonts would not go on to necessarily be an arm of the Catholic Church, but the church would actively support them. Um, if something happened, like uh, Dracula would show up, they, um, the church would, would ask the Belmonts to intervene and they'd provide them with money, weapons, transportation. Uh, they'd often, if there was a sorceress during that time period, they'd send their sorceresses and some other exorcists to go help them out. 
Um, the, the Belmonts had a very close relationship with the church. So why am I saying this? Why, why am I going through all this stuff? What, what is the point of this? It's, it's to try to explain why this show is such a travesty. So basically, like how this how Castlevania the animated series, as I'm gonna call it, opens up, is Dracula's future waifu comes across him, and it turns out that Dracula is not the son of Satan. He's not a um, an ex French nobleman who threw a hissy fit and declared himself the enemy of God. No, he's a man of science. He's a man of science who spends his days researching great things making advancements in technology that can lead humanity into the future. Okay, I don't really get it, but we'll, we'll take that at face value, I guess. And the woman's like, I'm a progressive modern woman. I want to become a doctor so I can get rid of superstition and I can use, I can use the power of science to, to help people and to get rid of superstition. Please help me, demonic science man. So demonic science man says, a lot of people don't think vampires be like it is, but it do. So he teaches her the power of science. So she gets burned at the stake because she convinced Dracula to be a cuck, apparently. And he had decided to act like a human and travel the world. And they burned her. And the show's like, the church is evil. They burned this woman who was the wife of the fucking Antichrist. And they're like, well, her, her stuff is witchcraft. And then it's like, no, it's it's actually science because Dracula is a man of science. And like, this is my problem with all this shit. Okay, so we're supposed to believe Dracula, who's the fucking son of Satan, who's evil incarnate, that no, it's just, it's just all science. She was just giving them penicillin. Uh, none of his technology is based on dark magic. He's he's a completely innocent benefactor. So we're supposed to believe that she wasn't being taught witchcraft. And I don't mean witchcraft in the sense of, and I, I'll try to refer to Sypha and her ilk as being sorceresses. Uh, I don't mean magic like that. I mean like fucking demonic magic. Because it's very clear that Dracula knows how to summon demons from hell. So yeah, we're supposed to buy that. We're supposed to accept that it's, it's, it's bad... To burn the wife of, of Satan, who knowingly sleeps with him. Um, so yeah, so she dies, and then Dracula is like, The church, the church, evil Christians did it to me. Evil Christians. And he's like, he throws a hissy fit. He's like, I'm going to kill everybody in Wallachia, because you didn't stop them from burning her. So he just starts killing people. And he's like, I'm going to come back in one year and I'm going to kill everybody. I'm going to go get a bunch of demons. So Dracula goes and gets a shit ton of demons. And he, yeah, so he gets a bunch of demons and he's going to, he's going to destroy the world. And his son Alucard's like, dude, maybe like you're going a bit far here. And he's like, no, my wife who died, I'm not going far enough. And then he tries to kill his son and locks him in a coffin. So, I mean, that's cool. So, that was the first episode, and it was complete shit. And it's, like, it's not just that the story is bad. It's not just that every member of the clergy is some sort of, like, psychopathic thug. Like, all the priests in this use, like, fucking swords, and they, like, rob people. Like, that they rob people, like, common street thugs. It's, it's just really weird. Um... But it's not just that. It's just fucking boring. You have four episodes to tell a story that could probably take a whole season in of itself. But for whatever reason, they decided... Like, it's just fucking boring. So much of it is just shitty, stilted dialogue. The animation quality just looks fucking retarded. It's like they're trying to copy anime, but it sucks. It's not quite as shitty as something that's fully cg like Berserk 2016. But it's still fucking trash. And the next episode just proves just how shitty this show is. The next episode is literally just Trevor Belmont getting drunk in a bar. Like, he sits in a bar for, like, 20 minutes. As we, like, listen to some stilted exposition where a bunch of people complain about 
how the Belmonts got driven out and they deserved it and how all the noble families are going to get driven out and like how Dracula is not that bad and they believe for whatever reason that um the Belmonts were the ones who brought about Dracula's invasion and and stuff like that I just like it doesn't really make a lot of sense but you have this long thing and Trevor Belmont's just given up on the world and he's just drinking and it's like this running joke that he's just trying to get drunk. And Trevor Belmont's just kind of a douche. Uh, he's kind of a responsibility ducking douche who just kind of complains about everything and whines. So that's like the second episode. It's just him fucking wandering around getting drunk. And this is this is some quality content here. This is this is the Trevor Belmont that the Pope himself found and gave him the commission to go in and kill Dracula. And it's like, well, Argent, that we we're trying to de do a deconstruction here. We're trying to make him into a um, an anti-hero, kind of like a, a fallen hero. Okay. Um, let's see. In the show, in the games, he's referred to as being a proud warrior, confident in his abilities, but solemn and cautious. He's a bit of a hothead and straightforward, and perhaps slightly rude. However, he is a man of justice fighting for good. Um, you don't really get that impression of him here. He just kind of seems like a, a bitter asshole. So, yeah, so then we, we have, um, that is our hero, ladies and gentlemen. He just fucking drinks constantly and swears and, and just, he's just completely unlikable. So he goes to a city that's being under attack by Dracula's forces. And there's a group of people there called the Seers. Now the Seers are just some shit they made up for the TV show. It appears nowhere in the lore. And they're like these pagan, maybe pagan group of people who wander around and learn things and have random magical powers so it turns out that like the local church has blamed them for dracula attacking and that they were the ones who caused dracula to attack and they're, they're trying to finger these guys so that they people won't focus on the fact that they burned Dracula's wife and that's the reason that they started this war. So like what we're supposed to accept is the fucking son of Satan. He wouldn't have ever he would have been a good boy. He would have didn't do nothing, but you took away his comings. You took away away his ability to come. And because of that, you just decided to just decided to blow the world up and it's it's the church's fault. It's it's every last member of the church's fault that they burned someone who was having sex with the Antichrist. So, yeah, so they, they're just trying to kill this order of guys, and the Belmonts apparently are in good terms with them. And and Trevor saves them, and they, like, well, he wants to give them, like, wants them to leave. He's like, these people don't deserve your help. And they're like, we're here to help. And they're like, the Christians don't like us for some reason because we're mysterious and we know all this esoteric shit. And then Belmont's like, I don't like priests. My family's excommunicated, even though I don't think that ever happened in the in the uh, the canon. Um, I think they were kind of estranged from the church and the church was kind of very skeptical about them. But they eventually just started working together and... The Belmonts have been faithful Catholics ever since. So it's Trevor Belmont is even shown praying in front of a cross in the in the video game. But uh, no, none of that matters. None of that um, that counts in the slightest. Uh, Trevor Belmont is like non-religious, hates the church. Church hates him, even though in the thing they deliberately sought him out and made him their champion. So then, then it turns out that the the granddaughter of the head of the Watchers is Sypha. And Sypha is like the only person in this who has an appropriate accent. Everybody else has British accents, despite this being Wallachia. And the Belmonts are French anyways. But um, it is what it is. Everyone else has like fucking Cockney accents. But that's just how shitty this show is. So he saves her. And Sypha's pretty cool. She's probably the only character I kind of like in this, probably because she's hot. But um, 
So Sypha is a sorceress who works with this random order they inserted. She doesn't work for the church. Um, none of the backstory is there that I described. She's just kind of some random sorceress chick. So like, like kind of all her background, her kind of overcoming uh, the problems of her childhood. Like I said, her relationship with the church. Now the church hates her and wants to kill her and wants to kill Trevor. So it's pretty clear that they basically just were like, fuck Christians, Christians are bad. We have to, um, we have to make the church evil. We have to just shit on them. We have to attack Christians. That's basically what this whole thing is. It's just another excuse to bash Christians. And the irony about this is Castlevania was not made by Christians. Castlevania was made by the Japanese. Maybe there were some Japanese Christians involved. But the Japanese have more respect for Catholicism and more respect for really some fundamental views of Christianity, the struggle of, of good against evil, um, the, the fighting the forces of the night, th those kind of things. They kind of, in an essence, grasp what our culture is about more than what we grasp. <laughs> and we they grasp what our religion is about more than how most people here grasp. But uh, let me see who made this piece of shit. Let me just look this up. Because this was just... Like... I don't even really know what that like how to describe this. It's just it's it's so bad. Okay, let me see who is the asshole who's behind this. Like, who we have to blame? Where's the director? Come on, where's the director? Show me. Show me. Does it not have who the director is here? Richard Armitage, I guess. No, no, not Richard Armitage. He plays Trevor Belmont. Uh, I'm just trying to give me a second. I'm just going to pause and try and figure this shit out. Okay, so this was directed by Sam Dietz, I think. And this is the only thing he's ever done. And it shows. And then we also have Warren Ellis, who's produced such incredible pieces of work as red retired it um extremely dangerous um the x there is an x-men tv series really um blade the tv series gi joe the tv series dead space justice league unlimited well actually that's not that bad and um iron man 3 which is one of the fucking worst written movies I've ever watched. So you got like one guy who's never done anything and one guy who's complete shit. And yeah, that was that was what they um they chose to make this piece of crap. So why is Castlevania the anime series complete trash and why am I not even going to finish talking about Alucard showing up and there being some shitty prophecy about um some shitty prophecy about a chosen one but the prophecy's from the future and it relates to alucard and then trevor belmont kills a bunch of priests for some reason because it's, it's not even worth it this this show is shit for a number of reasons a the idea of having a season of four episodes was was a fucking bad idea from the start two doing a western animation a western animated adaptation of a japanese it's, video game series is baffling to say the least see it just shits on christianity and it's obvious that was the impetus for making this was to attack the catholic church and to attack jesus so that's just kind of the way they are we gotta these these people just fucking hate jesus so much they hate jesus so much they're willing to side with the fucking antichrist they're willing to humanize dracula because they hate jesus that much um it's it's that's just the way it is so you got that it's boring as fuck it's really slow um they waste a whole episode of trevor belmont getting drunk and it's a complete fucking travesty to the source material this rapes the, the source material this is this is one of the worst adaptations i've ever seen this is one of the worst animated series i've ever seen this is just a piece of crap and it needs to die and 
fuck the people on IMDb who gave this 8.4 out of 10. Fuck them and fuck this show.